Welcome back to my channel. So I decided to join in on the hashtag bomb challenge, the black only makeup brand challenge and I created this look with all black owned beauty brands. All right, so for my eyebrows, I use the Juvia's Place Nubian Palette, the first one, with Fashion Fair Concealer. And then I use just a little bit of the Fashion Fair Bold Lash Mascara because I didn't have any clear brow gel. Next for the eyes, I decided to combine the Nubian palettes from Juvia, one and two. And I just start by laying down my transition shades. And this is from the first palette, the Nubian one. Next, I'm going to use the, uh, the green that's down at the bottom corner. And this is a nice, um, nice shimmery, satiny green. It wasn't um, glittery, which I liked. And so I'm just gonna place that on the center of the lid. Then I'm gonna take the blue that's in that Juvia 2, Nubian 2 palette, and I'm just gonna do the outer corner, the outer V of the eye. And I'm just using a small detailed brush so that the eyeshadow goes exactly where I want it to go. And I'm blending that with the green as I'm putting it on. Next I'm going to use a Danessa Myricks uh, pigment and I'm just going to place that on the inner corner of my eye. I believe the color is Faro. I'll have the products listed below. Again, small detailed brush and I'm just placing that right there in the corner and I'm blending it in to the green. Next I'm going to take a blending brush combining those two colors I'm just going to go right into the crease. And I'm not doing this with a heavy hand. This is a really light touch. That's why I like this, this uh, blending brush. Because what I don't want to happen is I don't want to mix all my colors together. I want to keep them where they are but still keeping that blended look. And I go back and forth between the blending brush and a, uh, f the fluffy brush that I use to get like a, uh, you know, a fuller coverage or to cover a larger area. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Again, light touch because I don't want to blend all the colors together. But I do want to give um, a blended look. And again, we're just blending back and forth when show wipe promotion with a nice uh, blending brush. And this brush is from Morphe. And then next, I'm going to use Fashion Fair's uh, liquid eyeliner to draw my wing. This uh, liquid eyeliner was pretty good. It did not dry down matte. It stayed um, glossy which um, I mean it was nice but for this look with having so many uh, shimmery eyeshadows um, I would would have preferred for it to dry down all the way to a matte but it still looked great As you know, I always pull my nose to the side to get into the inner corner. For uh, mascara, I use the Fashion Fair Bold Lash uh, Mascara. And I chose to go with Fashion Fair because, uh, one, they, you know, they're an old school brand. And then, two, they are a black-owned um, makeup brand. You know, brands like Black Radiance and Black Up, they are not black-owned, so they would not uh, fit with this challenge. The mascara was great as well. 
it really did give my lashes a nice coat the brush was a little weird because it was um, there was no bristles it was all silicone but it was still it was okay um, I they did not have an eyeliner so I just took an angled brush and I dipped it into the mascara and I just put on a uh, some eyeliner that way so not only is this a black owned uh, makeup brand video but this is also different ways of doing things like I use an eyeshadow palette and mascara for my eyebrows instead of an eyebrow pencil and I'm using mascara as eyeliner just using a small angled brush so it's thinking outside of the box So, what I'm using here is the Fashion Fair um, souf Foundation Souffle. They did not have my color in stock, um, so they gave me a sample, and this is brown sugar. Now, the Foundation Souffle, I absolutely loved it, and um, I did order the full size because it is great. Now, it can be a little heavy for some. So if it is a little heavy, you may want to just mix a little with your moisturizer to thin it out. Um, but it was great. It gave great coverage. And it, it didn't make me oily. It lasts a long time. And I'm just moving that around, blending that in with my beauty blender. Um, and my beauty blender is wet. So that also helped to uh, thin the foundation out as well with the wet beauty blender and I just took my brush um, and just kind of went over uh, my face next I'm going to use the Fashion Fairs concealer uh, trio this is the concealer one because they do have a two um, so this is the concealer one and I'm going to use that underneath the eyes and I'm also going to use it to highlight and I'm going to also use it to contour. And my beauty blender I'm just you know smoothing it out and I'm going to contour down the nose. It's not a heavy contour, it's uh, pretty light. So as you can see here, like my contour shade is like, it's not that dark, it's only like one to two shades darker. Just to give it just a little contrast. Uh, next, I'm going to use the orange as a blush. And then I'm going to use the burgundy uh, that's below it. I'm just going to use that as a little bit of a contrast and a little bit of a contour. Again, I'm using different items for different things. And now to give me some shine, some shimmer and highlight, I'm going to use Danessa Myricks. This is Aura of Love and Serenity. So the two eyeshadow colors along with the illuminator, they really gave my face a nice uh, glow, which I really liked. And the orange eyeshadow wasn't too orange. And you know, it didn't oxidize, so it was a great choice.
I'm just going to highlight the center of my face, bring some more light into the center. And what I love about uh, Danessa Myrick's uh, illuminators is you can, you can layer them on. Next, I'm just going to go underneath the eye, give it just a little bit uh, more color, and that's from the Juvia uh, Nubian 2 palette. And I'm pushing that right into the lower lash. Next, for the lips, I'm going to use Who Is She uh, Cosmetics. Their lip composite and melted copper. I love these lip composites. Um, I need them in every color um, because they they're so pigmented and they're non-drying. My lips they feel great and the color it lasts for a long time. I can eat and I'll still have color on. It may be a little bit lighter, but the color will still be there. The pigment will still be there, and my lips won't be dry. So definitely check it out. Next, who is she cosmetics? I'm just using my lip brush to put that on. I'm just gonna highlight my cupid's bow a little bit. And again, all the brands that were used here were all black owned beauty brands or black owned makeup brands for the hashtag bomb makeup challenge. And here is the finished look. I hope you like. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.